Hi, welcome back to Pink Oratera. My name is Z. If you're new to my channel, welcome. This is going to be a general love reading for Pisces. So if you have Pisces in your chart or if you're cross-watching for Pisces, keep in mind that this reading is very general. It may or may not resonate with everyone watching. So just keep that in mind while viewing this video. If you would like to follow me on Instagram, you can follow me at Pink Oratero. Um, I would love to connect with you guys on Instagram. So... Oh, before we even get into the cards, let's say a prayer real quick. So here we go. Dear God, please bring peace, love, and light into this space. Keep me and my viewers protected and take away any words some thoughts. Only allow high vibrational souls onto this channel. We thank you for the healing that has already been given and for your ultimate and divine protection. Thank you. So Pisces, let's see what's going on. Um... For some of y'all, somebody want, um, maybe wants to like reconcile with you. So we got attraction. I'm going to take that. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Okay. And then we have religious factors right here. So we have attraction and then religious factors for you. So religious factors, your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing. Okay. Hmm. So I'm going to take these. So for some of you guys, you may have freed yourself from a situation because we got free yourself at the bottom of the deck. And then we have pets. Okay, we're not even going to mention that. So we have calling in your soulmate. So it says your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. And then we have engagement. So engagement, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So for some of you guys, I feel like you're attracting with this attraction. I don't feel like it's like physical attraction. It could be, but I feel like it's like an energetic thing. Like you guys are attracting someone that, um, so like you guys are attracting someone who possibly has like the same belief system as you, but it's like you're calling in your soulmate. Somebody's calling in their soulmate. It's like you're attracting that energetically. And, um, with this engagement card, you guys could actually be engaging with this person. Maybe you have already attracted this person. Um, I'm also going to pull from the soul's journey lesson cards. So let's get one for Pisces. Give me one for Pisces for the spread. So we got two. So I'm going to take growth because the, the other one was like service. But I feel like the growth actually goes with um, the romance angels spread right here. So we have growth and it says, I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. So I feel like you guys, I feel like this is going back to this free yourself because it's at the bottom of the deck. It says it's, t it's time to take back control of your life. So for some of you guys, it's like, I feel like you have outgrown um, people, maybe people that you were like dating. It's like someone has outgrown someone, but I feel like you have grown um, like spiritually because it's like someone is like attracting um, their soulmate. But it's like you, you had to... Um, grow out of a situation or like just grow because it's with this uh free yourself it's like someone's trapped so i feel like this is like a mental thing for some of you guys it's free yourself and then growth because it says i i want to expand my consciousness and my awareness it's like now you're aware that you can um actually attract your soulmate so it's like you've been saying your prayers, affirmations, and doing your visualizations. Your awareness is very high. So, let's see. And I feel like um, with this engagement, it's like you're really um, careful about who you engage with. Like who you interact with. With this engagement card. Because it's like, um, in this picture, it's kind of hard to show, but he's like touching her hand. It's like you just don't engage with just anybody now. It's like you're um, you're aware 
that you just can't be engaging with just any and everybody. Okay, so let's clarify, my camera cut off. Let's clarify attraction for you, Pisces. Clarify attraction for Pisces. Oh, so I feel like somebody has actually, it's like you guys have attracted a soulmate. Or like, since it's very general, this could be a friend or a family member. Someone's attracted, um, like energetically attracted. Someone's like you manifested someone but i feel like you guys have manifested um because with this ace of pentacles is like something tangible i feel like this is like a person but this is like a manifestation um for someone but you um it's like something starting from your mind like you're, you're using like your um like you're visualizing i guess like your um the person that you would like to have or just like a person um that you would like to attract a physical person it's like it's here in the physical clarify attraction okay so yeah y'all somebody been single for a long time we got the um the hermit card that popped out. Some of you guys could be done with a Virgo, but somebody been single for a long time. It's like you're um because this hermit is like if you've been single for a long time, it's like you're coming out of that from a, like a moment of um solitude, being single alone. But we got the temperance card that came out. And this ten of um this ten of pentacles popped out. I was about to clarify religious factors, but the way it had popped out, so I feel like some of you guys could be attracting someone. I feel like this is like someone who wants commitment, just like you too. But it's something about your family that is kind of like similar. So I don't know if it's like tradition. Clarify religious factors. So I feel like there, there is something going on with someone's, um, either the spiritual path. I feel like this is family because it's right next to the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like this is like a challenge for someone. Maybe whoever this is. Um, I feel like this is like family. So this could be like someone's mother or their father. Maybe they have something to say about um like a new relationship that someone has this is how this is how i'm seeing it but the roles could be reversed clarify calling in your soulmate okay so we got the five of cups this was actually at the bottom of the deck so i feel like whoever i feel like you guys may have lost um you could have lost someone, but it's like now you're calling in your soulmate. Like, I feel like you could have went through some type of, like, mini depression period for some people. But I feel like you freed yourself from that. But I do feel like someone's standing their ground. I don't know if it's, like, how you were brought up. It's, like, someone's upbringing has like a big influence on their love life but i see someone like standing their ground when it comes towards like family so i feel like somebody has actually freed themselves from some type of family tradition when it comes towards their love life clarify calling in your soulmate So we got the star card. I feel like you guys are actually, like somebody actually is calling in their soulmate, like they're attracting their soulmate 
And by you using those like prayers, affirmations and visualizations, it's like you're coming out of this, um, this mood with this five of cups, like feeling down and out, depressed, sad, or feeling like you lost out on something. It's like you're going to get exactly what you want. Some of you guys could be done with the Aquarius. Clarify engagement for Pisces. So we have judgment that came out. So this came out for engagement. So, okay, so for some of you guys, I feel like with this engagement card, I feel like you guys are careful about, like someone's very careful about who they engage with or um, who they interact with. And I feel like you guys could be kind of like um, with this judgment card because it talks about the past. It could be like someone coming back from the past, but I feel like this is you... Um, really like being careful i feel like someone's like learning from like your past mistakes some things that happened in the past now you're very 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 careful about who you um engage with clarify engagement so we got the six of swords that came out so I feel like you guys are moving away from any type of conflict, but I feel like somebody's definitely, um, I feel like you guys have experienced a lot of disappointment too. We got the three of swords at the bottom of the deck. It's like you guys have, um, experienced a lot of disappointment and it's like now that you actually like learn from that, you, you guys have actually grown. I feel like this came out in your general readings. Um, this car actually came out growth. It's like your awareness is very high. Um, for March, or this could be whenever, but I feel like it's March because this came out in the March um, general reading. It's like your awareness is very high and it's like now you know that you can't just be engaging with just any and everybody. It's like someone's actually um, learned from their past mistakes possibly. Clarify this Ace of Pentacles. Okay, let's see what this is. Yes, yeah, so somebody could be done with um, a Leo or a Sagittarius. We got a King of Wands at the bottom of the deck. But we got the six of wands. I feel like this is like some good news coming in for someone. It's like someone's actually, it's like you're standing out. You're attracting, a, um, you guys have a lot of attraction this month. It's like you're standing out from the crowd. Okay, so we got the King of Swords that came out. So some of you guys could be done with the um, an air sign. But I feel like somebody's like, because with this growth, it says, I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. It's like you guys have actually learned your lesson with this Hermit card. And then the King of Swords, like this is growth for someone. And it's like you, your awareness is very high. Like you know exactly what you want to attract or who you want to attract. Ten of Pentacles. 
Okay. So I feel like somebody's dealing with some type of family issue. I feel like this is some type of tradition. I don't know if it's just how you were brought up. I feel like it's more so about someone's upbringing. But we got the moon card. So I feel like it's like something with someone's family. Maybe something's being hidden within someone's family, like some type of tradition. Like how you were brought up. Let's see. Clarify the seven of wands. Because I see someone like being defensive. Clarify the seven of wands. Okay. So. We got the queen of pentacles. This could be someone's wife. I feel like this is someone's mother. Like your mother could be an earth sign, but I, I feel like someone's being very defensive here. It's like maybe um, how your mom brought you up. Like you could have been in a single parent home. the the five of cups but I do see someone being very grounded with this queen of pentacles um someone's definitely standing their ground when it comes towards like their spiritual path too because I feel like this is about someone's like spiritual path it's like they know or um it seems like somebody became enlightened about um I guess during a spiritual path, I don't know if like you were dealing with someone and it's like you realize that you can't just be like um, engaging with any and everybody. But I feel like someone's definitely standing their ground when it comes towards like um, their family, um, whether it be like family members or somebody that you have children with. Clarify the five of cups. Okay, so yeah, I feel like this is, um, so we got the Six of Cups that came out. I feel like this is about someone's like childhood or like the past. This could definitely be the past. Someone, I don't think someone's coming back from the past. I feel like it's just like something that happened in your past or your childhood. And I do feel like someone's needing to forgive. Um, I feel like somebody freed themselves from some type of mindset that they had. I don't know if it's like how you are brought up, but I feel like someone actually freed themselves from that. What's the judgment? See, somebody's, um, with this engagement card, I feel like someone made a decision not to engage with anything that is toxic, low vibrational. With this devil card, you could be done with a Capricorn. But I feel like because it's the way it's showing up, it's like someone moving away from any type of conflict, low, something that's very low vibrational. It's like you're very careful about who you um, are engaged with, engaging with, like who you're spending your time with, time and energy, spending your time and energy on. Clarify the Six of Swords. Okay. So 
we got the king of pentacles so some of you guys could definitely be um leaving a i feel like somebody was engaging with a um a capricorn possibly or a um taurus or a virgo but somebody definitely um moved on from this person this person could have been like very toxic too or this person just had like a lot, a lot of negative energy with them Cause it seems like somebody outgrew someone too with this. Um, I don't know if it's like someone you have family with or um, like somebody that you have children with. So I'm gonna pull from the energy oracle deck. Give me a card for Pisces for this spread. So I feel like someone's definitely using their intuition. I feel like it's definitely you, Pisces. We got goddess of the moon at the bottom of the deck. But then we have woman holding a heart. So with this woman holding a heart, it's like a woman dealing with, like, um, I'm guess I'm assuming this could be like for a male too, but woman holding a heart came out. So I feel like you guys are actually careful about who you're um, like expressing your emotions to just like who you're engaging with. Um, I feel like this is like an energetic thing for some people. And I feel like this is like going back to your general reading. If you haven't watched that one, the general reading that I did for Pisces, you should definitely watch that one. But it just seems like you guys have like outgrown people. Whether this be like a romantic partner that you were dealing with or just like family. It's like you guys have outgrown people. And you're careful about um, who you're dealing with like emotionally, physically, mentally. So I'm going to leave the reading right here. Hopefully this resonated with someone. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.